join me on the final leg of my journey down to New Zealand. Had some damage from some bad weather and I've also changed the plans. Now gonna go into a place called Marsden Cove. It was a rainy night last night and today should have been the last day at sea but it's not going to be. Got all the sails up this morning including the stay sail to give us a little bit uh, of extra heading up into the wind and there isn't too much wind. Uh, it's only forecast at five knots today but um, we're squeezing every bit we can. It's actually more than that now uh, so we're doing okay. Heavy rain last night though. Glad it's not raining today but it is overcast and with Turby lying across the solar panels like he is uh, and him not working as well we're not getting much electricity into the boat and it still might rain yet. The good news is the end of our journey at a place called Fangarai is only 60 miles down that way. Down below it's not all good news, got one of the uh, boards up, the sump, the grey water sump and pump are not working properly, uh, blocked, so I've got to find out what's going on there. So it was going to be cleaning day but I can't clean anything without running water. It's a job that needs doing fairly regularly and it's a messy job. Inevitably things get uh, thrown down the sink that shouldn't do, bits of hair, bits of this and that, especially when it's in the galley. Uh, this is an unreturn valve, you can see all the, the muck I got out of it. I've just had this little uh, one-way valve apart and uh, cleaned all that out. Uh, that couldn't operate, That's, that actually is supposed to stop the water coming back in the boat from the outside, flooding the boat, so that's, that's a really important piece of kit. That. And, uh, hopefully it'll all work now. But while I was working, the good news is the wind has come up on a flat sea and we're doing five and a bit knots, which is great, considering they, uh, they forecast virtually no wind today. And while I'm swinging the camera around the boat, thought I'd show you this. Can you notice anything about the sea that's different today? I have just seen this and realized that we don't have turquoise or blue water under the boat anymore. Normally I put the camera down here, it's turquoise, you can see a long way down, but look at that. That's like Northern Europe or somewhere, that's grey water. Oh, oh, what have I let myself in for? Grey water, that looks cold as well. The whole vista looks a bit bleak. A Norwegian friend of mine who uh, follows the series on uh, YouTube and Facebook, he <laughs> emailed me, why are you going to New Zealand? He said, come up to Fiji and join me, it's warm here. I'm beginning to wish I had. And I, I've been thinking a lot about New Zealand since I was a kid. Always wanted to come here, I heard it was a superb place. Always wanted to come, hope it doesn't disappoint and all that sort of thing. And uh, it's been a, a pain in the ass getting here to be honest with you. Uh, and I never thought I'd get here ever in my life, let alone sail here by my own boat. And then all of a sudden it's payoff time. <laughs> I came up, I looked out and <laughs> there in the mist is New Zealand. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you New Zealand. Oh! Yes! Yes! Dream come true for me! New Zealand! Oh! Still got quite a distance to go. Um, about 40 miles, something like that, but we're, I'm doing overnight. I expected to be in today, but that's, there's no way that's happening. Which is kind of nice because I hate rushing at the last minute because there's a lot of um, a lot of paperwork here, a lot of uh, regulations. They're very strict on Im immigration. So uh, I have to go through all that tomorrow. But I don't mind, I mean, that's, that's fine, but I want to allow myself plenty of time for that. So if I arrive mid-morning, it would be ideal to do that, chill out, and then I just need to get to a shop and, and buy some stuff. I bought from the one salami shop in, in uh, Tonga, I bought some salami, and I thought I'd, I'd better eat it up before I got to uh, 
New Zealand because they didn't, won't allow you to take any fresh uh, produce in and the damn stuff had gone bad on me it had gone bad it had been in the fridge not supposed to do that it had gone brown and that's a bad sign you don't get brown salami well you do here so they've got all that stuff there there's salami there's ham there's things to fix the boat with the sirloin steak they even might have English beer warm real ale oh, oh. the sea's the same it's actually gone green now it's turned green it's really it's quite beautiful but um, I just gotta be careful I don't run into that tonight when I'm asleep <laughs> I've got this far got this far. New Zealand is suddenly attacked by a giant finger. And then arose a situation where I was sailing too fast. It was great sailing weather, but I needed to slow the boat down. I didn't want to arrive at night. Of course, arriving in the day is always the thing to do. That meant I had to take the mainsail down. I was super excited to arrive the next morning and I couldn't wait for daybreak. And when it came, it was special. The first time I'd ever seen a pink sunrise. There's one thing to do before I uh, set off for the port on my final little journey into uh, New Zealand, and that set my friend Wilson free. Wilson, as you probably have guessed, is not real crew. He's actually a coconut, uh, which I picked up off a beach in the San Blas Islands near Panama a long time ago. And you're not allowed fresh vegetables or anything into the country, so there I'll be boarded when I arrive, and they won't allow Wilson because he's a coconut. Uh, ashore so they'll take him to an incinerator and get rid of him so I've decided um, Wilson where are you there he is I've decided because he's looking look at you can see it's damp here it's all soaked up with water he's soaking all the water up he's actually not environmentally sound at all are you Wilson so I'm gonna set him free um, if I let him free here he uh, he'll find a beach somewhere in New Zealand and uh, enter the country illegally maybe find a female coconut and uh, so Wilson, thank you for your help on board. Uh, all's well. Take care, mate. Wilson! I've always wanted to do that. Let's do it again. Wilson! Watch the Tom Hanks movie, uh, Castaway. Then you'll know what I'm talking about. Bye, Wilson. So long, mate. <laughs> I'll probably get arrested for doing this. That's me there, I'm under engine, there's no wind. I spent the night sleeping up here, going down the coast. I'm going to go around a point into a place called Marsden Marina, which is down here. But it's still 20 miles to here, another five miles up here. Looks like one of the locals is out early this morning. It's a pain to have to motor in. I've uh, just called up again and cancelled my appointment with the Customs and Immigration for this morning telling them that uh, there's no wind out here and there's no way I'm going to make it this morning. A lot of fog, nothing to see but it is completely and utterly beautiful. It's just calm, there's, there's birds everywhere, the sea is full of um, like, I don't know, jellyfish or something and been stalked by something. They have sharks here in New Zealand. I don't think they do. I just saw something bob up over there. It's a bob up fish. Still a lot of fog around and no wind to speak of so under engine heading for Marsden Point Marina I think they call it and, the cust and uh, an appointment with Customs and Immigration. Um, 
and then hopefully this trip will be over because I'm tired. <laughs> I've only got I've got two bottles of beer left, one roll of toilet paper, um, and I've got three eggs which I've just boiled. I'm going to eat them now, and then that's it. I need I need to find a shop that has beer, toilet paper, and food, and a pizzeria. They must do pizza here. I hope there's some Italian immigrants in New Zealand and they got pizzas. They gotta be, please. When you come to New Zealand, they're very, very picky about uh, uh, bugs and uh, infestations of any kind. Gotta make sure your boat's completely clear of that stuff. But what they don't tell you is that uh, they supply you with someone you get here. I am. This, this boat is absolutely covered in tiny little black flies. They're everywhere, all over the boat this morning. <laughs> and I'm like, they're not mine, officer, really. I didn't bring them. They're not English bugs, they're New Zealand bugs. Have a care, sir. Some strange birds I've never seen before here. Tiny, and they're like diving birds. Just looking around the boat here, trying to get rid of some of these little black fly things, and I noticed this guy. What is it? I, how I've had I've had fish, flying fish, on my boat before, but I've never had a squid. I'm not touching them because this part of the world they got all kinds of weird stuff. <laughs> that could that could be a that could be a killer squid. Who knows? Or an alien, perhaps. Look at that, come on, get off my boat. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. You can't tell where the sky begins and the sea ends, or even where the sea ends and the sky begins. Headed down the way there, under engine. I had a call from the authorities, they want to know how long I'm going to be. I said five hours. Five hours. I'm so tired. Ran into this guy. Well, not ran into, but came across him anyway. To a spot of fishing. Looks like he's got the right spot. There's lots of birds around him. That's always a good sign. Well, that's our destination anyway. It's a ways to go again. Just never seems to end this trip. There's a headland. You can just see it in the mist. I've got to go around that headland and about another seven miles up a river. Trying to round this point up here, this is the very, very end of the long piece of coast we've just come down. I'm going to go up around the other side and on the, then up a river and then I can stop. And I'm trying to beat uh, this Italian guy to the corner, but I think he's going to beat me. Wow, what was that? Geese. I'm clear to actually head straight down there at the moment. And it was at this point in time, on this journey, that the absolute beauty of this country revealed herself to me. So we're now going down the side of a bay. Uh, there's an Italian boat in front of me now. Uh, that's kind of cool, because they can show me the way. Uh, there's an entrance to a river up here. We're gonna go up that river for uh, a short distance, and then there's a marina hidden away somewhere, and then I'm gonna berth the boat. Nice little bay over there. Shame I can't stop, because I'm not checked into the country yet. Still quite a ways up there, and it's a bit blowy, but uh, we're doing five knots, so that's okay. Got the Q flag up. I remembered to put it up this time. But I do love this bay over here. I wonder if they've got a pub. We'll make a turn now. It'll be a bit easier with the wind. I should actually put the sail back up. Hopefully we're coming up to the end of this long, long day. 
I've got to get somewhere in there. I've got to go around this mark that's just coming up and then into the marina. I think I can see red and green poles over there. That's got to be the entrance. There's quite a bit of current in this uh, uh, river, so I've got to be careful about this. Just told me that people are not allowed on the customs dock, so I can't have any help when I go in. Oh, so I'm going to have to hit a few things that'll change their minds. Not only was the wind and current in the river, there was also quite a bit of big traffic. That on top of this, a very, very narrow entrance into the marina, which appeared to be straight over a beach into a blind alley. Uh, this is what it looked like as I got a bit closer, and it all started to come out and I could see where I was going. And then there was peace and quiet. Oh. I had to move the boat again from the customs dock to a visitor's berth. But here we are, stopped. Oh, look at that. There's no sea, there's a boardwalk beside the boat. And it looks like there's gonna be some bad weather tonight, but it doesn't matter, because I'm tied up here. And I can sleep soundly without worrying. I get a full night's sleep, that'll be a change. I think I've got two of these left bottles of, uh, of beer from Tahiti and uh, the boat's behind me looking sweet but rusty and I'm in this amazing place um, Mars and Co Marina and they're very nice I had the customs guys come down so I'm all customized now I'm immigrated and customized um, so yeah all was good they were happy with the bottom of the boat. All the trouble I went to, to make sure it's clean, because otherwise they can force you to get lifted out. There's a boat over there just being put back in now. Um, and the lady who is uh, on duty tonight was very nice, said, uh, we can do the paperwork tomorrow. So that's nice. So she's gonna drop a pass card off for me. And uh, then I'm gonna find a restaurant, well, a shower first, and then a restaurant, and uh, have a few more of these well deserved it. I've been going, uh, what time did I stop? About 3.30 got in here. And I've been going since um, 6.30 this morning. I'm very, very tired, but happy to be in New Zealand. I've got to do one without going in. I'm like, no. Oh. Barry, Barry, please don't be. Yes. Yes. Dream come true for me. Oh, I'm not going to cry again. Oh. Now, mate. Oh. Oh, bollocks. I'm done all that. I don't like it.